So, U.S. Uh, intelligence services have released the fact that they think Russia is going to do a false flag to get back into Ukraine. Now, at first you might think, well, you know, U.S. government lies sometimes. That's true. However, in this particular case, I don't know if any of you remember this man named Alexander Litvenko. He released a book called Blowing Up Russia, and in it he basically said, as part of the KGB, they fucking blew up and killed at least 300 people in apartment buildings in Russia. I believe it was in the 90s. And then they blamed it on Chechnya to start the second Chechnyan war. They have banned this book in Russia for alleged state secrets inside it. But I'm pretty sure the real reason is they don't want you to revolt against the government. It's just so messed up, our society. The other thing with former KGB agent Alexander Lit. Venko, he had the bravery to come out and say what they did, and then the Russian government, they poisoned him with plutonium, a slow, horrifying death, and they did it in his food, and this other guy got sick too, that was eating with him. They did it in public to let other people know, you don't go against us. You don't go against us. What kind of mafia shit is that? That is disgusting. Reform Russia. You need to reform. America? Yes, America has problems and needs to reform too. But Russia? Come on. Stop poisoning and killing journalists. <sighs> so yeah, I do think there's a high chance that uh, Russia was planning a false flag, and now that they've exposed it, they probably won't do that, hopefully. And they took out Ukraine's uh, internet today. Somebody did. Probably. Probably Russia. You know, and China's not that great either. They got these giant Uyghur camps, and they are, like, presumably killing people and re-educating them as well. So it's just... It's like, and America's supposed to be the, the shining beacon, and so far, you know, we haven't, as far as I know, had any giant false flags. I, I, I don't really know what happened on 9-11. I mean, we know the official story, but yeah, yeah, life's crazy. What else? Um, I've been following these Sandia aliens on Twitter for the past five or six years, and they said that official contact was going to happen. And I guess it sort of has, unofficially. I mean, we've definitely made great strides and that the Navy has released Tic Tac videos, or rather, people have pressured them to release those videos. And so it's like, I, I, I base my entire life around just, okay, I can just wait for first contact, wait for first contact. 2021 comes, and they said they'd have official first contact, and they didn't. And I guess other people are getting it. And I guess, you know, I have some anger problems and issues, so I'm not the best candidate. But I've been trying my telepathy. I've been writing down my dreams for the past four months. And, I mean, part of it is I understand because we are so tribal still and we still lie to each other and our governments lie to us to protect us. You know, and I tried to do the Christianity thing for a while. And I still pray to Jesus and whatnot, but it's just hard for me as a questioning person to go to church and Bible study and not question and just obey. I guess sometimes that's life. Sometimes you have to give in and let go and obey and accept that we're all going to die and all that stuff. But it still can be depressing. Um, why can't we just love each other and, and, and talk to each other and try to work things out? I don't know. Because we get angry at each other sometimes, I guess. I don't know. Why do we have to have some God or some ET or some government telling us how to live our lives? Why can't we just figure out how to do it peacefully all right well I'm gonna work on my map uh, this video brought to you by Tuscana it's $15 for four cans but they're really good and I'm supposed to work on my map because I got a patreon I need to make a lube lube sexy lube chamber for and another patreon has uh, bought some of my art, and so I will try to work on my map. Uh, then I get to pick up my potatoes and rust. And uh, special thanks to my stepmom for just being awesome and uh, supporting me, and my dad, and my mom, and and Boots by Kitty. Other other than him just screaming at me all the time, he's a good boy. <laughs> if you have any comments about anything, put them below, or any stories you want me to report on. Let me know. If you don't comment, I don't know what to what to do. So have a good one. Additional special shout out and thanks to Muhammad and Sue 
Walker for your positive comments to me when I was really feeling down. I'm grateful and I'm trying to walk that path of being more grateful and consuming less crap. It's very difficult, but that's life sometimes. But I am outside breathing and it's nice. Additional, additional special thanks to Frag. Thank you for putting up with all my bullshit. Thanks for being a good fan and friend. And Malden and Dome and uh, Willis and even you, Bip. Bip, you're awesome.